let's build out just a sample big data server and talk a little bit about some of the components of a data analytics server that you want to make sure that you have on your data analytic environment. It's critical that we put the right type of performance inside of a data analytical environment. So let's go ahead and draw out the server here. And as we draw out the server, of course, servers have processors, right? So the sockets themselves go inside. Now, typically, sockets within a data analytics server have um, uh, two sockets. It's usually a dual socket uh, with multiple cores. And then the memory channels, although we're not going to go into great detail about memory channels in this video, we want to make sure that there are at least three channels dedicated to each socket, each processor, and that then you can fit 8 gig DIMMs within there, right? And so this is a 12 DIMM machine. And you want to make sure you have error correcting on that RAM. All right, so uh, why do we need all of this? Because we have Task Manager, Data Manager, MapReduce, and the Hadoop cluster, all of which work within and provide or work together and provide the data analytical environment. All of these should scale together. So let's just take a review. I know the animation went by somewhat quickly, and let's just review on some of the key components that we want to have. First of all, uh, the optimal configuration seems to be a dual processor machine. Now this is for price point as well as, as um, for performance. We want to make sure that that dual processing machine has three memory channels per processor. A memory channel is assigned to an actual processor, and so that's six total uh, memory channels uh, on the um, on the server itself. So two processors, six memory channels. Then we want to make sure that we can support eight gig DIMMs in each one. So usually the memory channel will have two slots for DIMMs. So we'll put two DIMMs in each of those, eight gig each. Multiply that out. That's 12 times eight, which equals 96 terabytes of um, uh, excuse me, <laughs> gigabytes, not terabytes. Boy, wouldn't that be awesome? That's a typo on there. 96 gigabytes of data in your environment. So we want to make sure that this data analytical server is up to the task to make sure that it processes. Now, this is primarily for the platform server, for the worker servers. There is a little bit of a different configuration for your management nodes. Um, but uh, this is kind of this is the one we show because this is where most of your investment will be because the other ones you just buy two of those servers a platform and a manager and and call it a day until you have to scale beyond that most of the work is going to be done with these worker servers